Hi, I'm Charlie Tomczak and I'm here in our Bamberger Strasse office in Nuremberg, Germany. I'm looking for Frank, our head of data science, to find out what him and the team have been up to. Judging by the signs, it looks like he's just down here and to the left. Let's see if we can find him. Frank. Hello, sir. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Working hard as usual? Yes. <laughs> well, yes. Do you have enough screens? Uh, yes, yeah, sufficient. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, um, how do you fancy a coffee? Yes, always. Lovely. Well, let's grab a coffee and then um, I'd love to find out a bit more about your data science team. Good. Hi. Uh, what can I get for you? Uh, I'm actually good. I wouldn't mind a little water. I'm here with Frank Hedler, the Head of Data Science Global. Um, Frank, maybe introduce yourself to us, tell us a little bit about who you are and the type of people you have in your teams. So yes, um, so my name is Frank. Um, I'm heading up a global data science team. Um, global here means we are spread across mainly three locations. It's Nuremberg, London and Warsaw. Okay. We are basically taking care of um, all the algorithmic solutions of all the science behind our new products. Okay. Um, so the team consists of data scientists uh, of various backgrounds, econometrics, uh, psychology, mathematics, physics, um, computer science, and also machine learning engineers. Let's say. So when you talk about algorithms, when you talk about production ready, what, what do these algorithms do? What is an algorithm? An algorithm, yes. Yeah. So we have this unique data asset uh, of post data, um, retailer data basically. Um, plus we have other data sets uh, like behavioral data and all that. And the data itself hasn't got any value really. You have to make sense of it. You have to create insights from it. So for example, what is the price elasticity of a certain product? Does it vary over time, this elasticity? Yeah. What, what is the effect of special promotions of Black Friday and these things? Um, is my assortment right? Uh, should I add or remove items? Um, how should these items in my assortment be priced against each other? All these things, these are typical questions of our clients. And we try to solve these questions not on a one-by-one -one ad hoc basis. Now we, we are trying to build basically solutions that do these in an automated manner across many countries, across many product categories. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Does it, it is, sound yes. easy? But it's also fun. Yeah. So how, how do you go about doing that though? Do you, is it whiteboard based? Do you use maths? Do you use computer science? Or are you using um, programming languages? How, how do you actually do it? It's a mix of it all. Uh, it's, there's maths behind it, uh, obviously. Sometimes relatively simple stuff, and sometimes quite, uh, quite complex stuff. Um, there's programming involved because at the end this has to feed into algorithms that means basically a software artifact um, that sits at the heart of these products. Um, so we are mainly programming in Python, okay. some also in R, um, in particular for prototyping maybe. Uh, and then, I mean, uh, we use Spark, for example, for in-memory computing because we have to do with quite large amounts of data and these computations have to, have to happen quickly. Nice, nice. So does that mean that you're constantly exploring new tooling or have you got your stack and you just stick to that? No, no, we are constantly basically um, looking for things that can help us to improve, uh, to make things faster, more efficient. Um, as a data scientist, you are by nature kind of a bit of a geek in that respect, so you you like to explore new things, try out new technologies. So it's it's a genuine interest of all the team members to be basically always cutting edge. Okay. And we try to be that. And we have a lot of things in in place, like for example, lunch and learns, where we present to each other what we've learned about a new tool or a new approach. Um, we have communities of practice where we exchange this, this knowledge as well. Um, so various things. We just recently had a global data science all hands meeting where oh, wow. everyone was here actually in Nuremberg, um, where we also worked in teams um, on, on various topics together. So we're trying to foster a constant knowledge exchange and to improve ourselves. Brilliant, brilliant. How, how big is the data science plus machine, in, machine learning team? You mentioned the all hands. How many people were there? Um, yes, we are 60 and counting because we are hiring in the UK, um, in Warsaw, also here in Nuremberg. We have a number of open positions for senior data scientists, mid level scientists, also for machine learning engineers of various degrees of. Um, of um, uh, seniority in terms of gender. We have a surprisingly high ratio or, or, or share of, of females actually in our team. Uh, for a data science team, it's quite high. It's about 20, 22%, which is not bad. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, 
and we have team members from all over the world, really. I heard something like 40 different nationalities just within your, your data team. Easily more than 20. Easily more than 20, <laughs> yeah. nice. Nice, so and why do they keep cho choosing to join GFK? First of all, what we are doing at the moment is really to redefine market research. Um, we become much more of a software company now, and we are building cool software, and that means data science sits at the heart of a product building a product that at the end of the day a client actually uses that is much more motivating to know that you've contributed to something that this company actually sells. We don't have the Yoda sitting there and teaching <laughs> anyone, so we learn from each other. So what are you most proud about, Frank? What are you most proud about your, 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 yourself and your team achieving? I'm very proud of um, that this, this team has grown now within a year from 28 to 60, we are able to attract top talent, which is really great. I'm also proud of the team spirit in this team. So it's all about, to me, team cohesiveness, collaboration, knowledge sharing, and just really trying to break the mold and, and trying new things and bringing new ideas to the table. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It keeps everyone's thinking fresh, keeps everyone on the, for, on the front foot. It's, yeah, it's why we are here. I mean, data science, if you're a data scientist, you want to learn constantly. It's you don't want to stand still and this is what people see they can do. Frank, thank you for the insights into your data science team and, and data as a whole within GFK. Keep up the good work and look, look forward to catching up with you in no the future. No problem, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. I hope you found that insightful. If you'd like to find out more about GFK or you'd like to join one of our global teams, please check out the GFK website or other social media channels.